So this is now the start of me hacking up these JBA performance exhaust headers. I know nothing about the brand, so oh well. Um, essentially, I'm just going to hack it as close as I can to the flange. We can put the flanges on there and then I can manipulate this in whatever way possible and know how much we have to trim or add to get them to fit where we need them to fit. I came over here and tested them. I put the flange on, which I don't know if you can see right now, um, but ran into a little problem. The bottom of the header right here uh, hits the mount we made. So I'm trying to think of what else I can do because this is as far down as that goes. And when it was actually together before I cut it off, I couldn't even get it in here to attempt to try and put it in there. But it won't go down far enough. So I'm trying to think of what I have to do. Worst case scenario, I will be chopping it off here and just using the flange and tossing the tubes and making my own. So I'm going to go to the drawing board. I think I have a plan. So playing with it, so this would be cylinder one, right? What I'm going to do is actually move it back so that this one will be in this position. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna take this runner and essentially delete it. We're gonna move this runner to this port. And then this runner is gonna come off of this one all the way up front here. So doing that should give us enough room in there. Um, I'll show you what I was talking about. So this is where it was sitting and it's hitting the motor mount and I can't go down anymore, right? But if I move these back, it'll go down, it clears the motor mount. It's just that this one hits the front or the firewall. So if I take that one and make it come up here, we have a header that works like that. All right. Essentially, I'm going to guess on where this is supposed to be. We're gonna double check over with the truck, but that way I have an idea of how I want to cut that one to make this easier for my life, which it'll probably be something like that. I'm gonna grab a paint pen and then we'll move on to the rest of it. Yeah, well, something over here smells like baby powder when you cut it. I don't know. This is so weird. All right, I think it's this one. No, no, it's this one. All right, so these obviously are at the wrong angle, but we'll, we'll address that in a little bit. We just gotta get the... Is it that way? I can't remember. I think it's the other. Ooh, that one kind of works. This is where we, uh, this is where we cut multiple times, but much longer than we actually need. We're gonna call that a decent first guess and hopefully I'm right. See, perfect, it's too long. That's all I wanted. Uh, when it's too long, I can make adjustments. When it's too short, I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, so I'm just gonna see what the distance is there and then we're gonna shorten it down and carry on from here. So that's looking like it'll work. I'm gonna grab the other piece because I wanna see how much length I need or how that's gonna work for the front one. Okay, so I have some extra piping here but it's looking like we might just do seven and I might be able to just make it a straight shot, which then I'm just gonna tack everything together 
once we fit that and everything so I can see if it actually fits where we want it to fit and we're clear of the uh, mount. We're clear of the motor mount. So yeah, uh, the only, the worst case scenario is that I have to um, have this come up and then follow this one down. That's probably the worst case scenario. I'm gonna finish this one first to know I can do it. All right, now that we have the pieces cut how I want them, uh, they do fit really well. So the next step that I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna be uh, tack welding these together. That way we can do a test fit. But what I'm actually gonna be doing is once these are tack welded to the actual header, we're gonna take the flange, put it on the head, and then see how well it fits. Cause there's still a big gap at the top. Uh, that I'm gonna have to trim flat. I just wanna see if I can get away with just trimming it flat and calling it a day, or how flat it has to be to get it to fit. And then once that looks good, we can finish welding this side together and we'll have one complete header. This is now roughed in. We're going to, like I said, put this on the cylinder head and we'll see how much clearance we actually have. If we have enough, I'll be really happy and we'll just make the adjustments that we have to do with this. But hopefully uh, there's not much more we have to do with this. I'm actually really glad that it clears the uh, motor mount that we made. We can see the metal there. It's close. But it doesn't touch, which is really what uh, I was worried about if we had to do a weird bend there. But so yeah, all I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to kind of suck this up so it's further away. But I think what we're going to do is trim it to be even with this all the way across. Yeah. Do some like fine trimming or whatever to get it to sit how I want, but. Look at that. Look at that. We made a quick, easy header. All right, guys, you gotta be calm because we're filming now. No, no vulgarness. Deep breath. So I'm really happy with how this came out. We're gonna be able to work with it. And for anybody that wants to say like, oh, that's really ugly, you could have made it better, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I could have, but this is not a show car. This is not, we're trying to make the most power in the world. We just need the exhaust to go out the back of the car. This was the easiest, simplest way to do it because doing this with cast would have been horrible. So this is why we're doing it this way. And we're gonna paint them black, so it's not gonna be hideous and just raw metal sitting around, but it's what we have to work with. You know, seeing this where it is, before I call this good and weld it together, I wanna to get the starter in there, cause it is close. I just wanna make sure that we're not gonna have any problems with the starter. We got the new starter, the starter for it in. We're gonna see how well this fits, or if it does. Okay, that's a good sign. 
from what I can see, it's definitely going to be really close. So making the exhaust for it, it might have to have a slight dent in it where it meets up to the header, but it clears everything that it needs to clear. So this is gonna be very similar to the other side. Uh, this rear one here, I'm going to cut off and we're gonna flip that, move it to the lower one to go forward. This one, we're just gonna pivot down to here. So I'll just have to trim it just kind of how I did on the other side. The only thing with this side, um, while I do the uh, testing, we don't have a starter to mess with, but we have a steering rack. So I just gotta make sure that the steering rack has enough room with these uh, tubes. All right, this thing is close, but I have a very strong feeling that I'm gonna have to trim a lot of this to get it in, just because of the limited space that we have. I just wanna see how close we are, um, because it is roughed in, and if I need to, I can break the tacks and we can move on from there, but. Gotta get that under the steering column. Come on, spark plug. There we go. Pull off the motor mount. The other thing too is I'm wondering if this cylinder one is going to hit the motor mount. Which it does. Poop. It's like, as you, it's, it's kind of resting in there. You can see back here, we've got like maybe a half inch there, but as it translates, it actually won't be moving this uh, tube up half an inch. I just wanted to see if we could tuck it in here for the column, which you can see actually was a good idea instead of like the other side. When that goes down, it shouldn't be touching the column at all. Oh, I think, yeah, I see it's not all the way down there. Yeah, it'll, it, it'll go down another, another half inch and we should have clearance on the column there. Um, so this side's close. Let me just mess with the front runner and hopefully that'll be it. Essentially, if I trim these so that the manifold will go this way, we'll actually get to a part of the motor mount that's tapered down more, and it should give us the little bit of extra room that we need, which having more clearance on the uh, steering column and everything will uh, be nice. All right, hopefully this is the last test fit, and then we can just smooth out these because you can see they're not where they need to be. Oh, come on. Jenga. There we go. All right, all right. Scratched them all up, man. I know. What am I ever going to do? Oh, that's fucking beautiful. I actually think I'm gonna I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna just leave this one how it's cut and try to get the other three to match this one because it can it can pivot this way a little bit um, and it obviously can go that way without that one sitting. But we have more than enough room to go down with the mount because this is actually lower than it needs to be with it resting on the mount. So my little adjustment of flipping the two tubes that I had down there was great. Now, I'm just gonna try to get the last bit to fit and get this thing out of here because apparently I can't anymore. Yeah. It's, um, it's not the right angle, but I can fix that. Yeah, because it's gotta taper in towards the engine a tiny bit more, so. My guess of cutting it there was close, but 
not exactly what I need. Final tax before I burn it in and do the other one as well. That way we're just done with this. I'm going to do one last test fit. Uh, I did disconnect the column this time because it was easier keeping it connected before, but with the flange on, it's not gonna fit. At least until it's bolted up. Oh, so much easier with that disconnected. And we have more than enough room for everything. All right, so we're gonna burn these in. Stay tuned for future videos on this. You're not gonna see them done. We're gonna, I'm gonna weld them all together. We're gonna coat them. That way they actually ha are one color and they look professional. Uh, we're, we have videos of this coming up running soon. Uh, we're gonna paint the engine bay. This one's gonna be great. And also, if you like the channel, we do have merch on our website. You're welcome to purchase it. My wife actually makes it. So you're helping out everybody here. It's not some random company off in whatever country you think things get made in. Uh, but we now have headers. That's probably the last big fabrication project on this thing. And next is going to be piecing it together, getting fuel lines and stuff, and then running the harness and trying to get all that stuff hooked up so that we can do the test fire. Mm -hmm.